said, I'll tell you, you need to be shine. Just know it's gonna cost you a little bit. For real, it's gonna cost you more than a little bit, it's gonna cost you. Subscribe to Danny Houston Podcast, man. Danny Houston. Yeah, man, it's going down. It's Donnie Houston Podcast. I am Donnie Houston. Check it out, man. We got two special guests today. Um, returning, you know what I'm saying, for the second time, man, is the OG Ron C. You know what I'm saying, representing Chop Stars. And uh, for the first time ever, man, representing SUC, we're lean the chemists, biting the boys, all that, man. You what's know what I'm saying? What's, what's going down? What's happening, man? I posted Ben in here about three years ago, down there. Long time. It's the thing. <laughs> like, as far as screwed up clip, click members, I've been talking to Will Lean probably longer than anybody else. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man. But, you know, it's cool. You know. <laughs> we here now. We you know here, what I'm saying? Know, perfect timing. Yeah, That's for sure. It was, it was, I was the same way, so. Uh, you know, oh, so. yeah. It was all good. Too good. Yeah, OG, it's a, yeah, 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 yeah. But hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody here now, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's going down, man? Shit, yes, man. man. Just cooling, man. I just left the screw shop. You know, Bub told me to say, man, tell Donnie what's up, man. So, Bub, what's the deal? Yeah, man. Bub. So, you know, yeah, you know, we got to keep it funky around there. Yeah, yeah, for Bub. sure. For sure, OG, what's going down, man? Hey, man, you know, just. Hey, you know, we have supposed to been, got this here thing, you know, I was supposed to been over here for my return, but, you know, not, I often say not some, you know, but due to some circumstances that just gone made it, you know. Yeah. Just yeah. gone rush the, rush the, rush the, rush the thing and gone let it, you know, make it happen, man. And I'm glad to even just be sitting on the, on, on the couch with another OG, another H-Town legend, you know what I'm saying? So, this is, you know, hey, man, this, this, this is. Mm -hmm. This is what's up, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Two H Town legends, man. We've been representing H Town for the longest, bro. So, if the H Town questions can't, that the fans got can't be answered between us, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And hey, and and I'll just say it, man. You know what I'm saying? For the, you know, just so it be known. Listen, we we here represent us, who yeah. we are as men. You know what I'm saying? It's like we know the stories, but we represent ourselves as men, though. You know what I'm saying? And I know my, you know, my brother Will Lean can agree with that, man. You know what I'm saying? We. Oh yeah, most, men, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, most most, most definitely, yeah, you know, it's man. it's uh you know it, people hear the stories and once the story make it from the north to the south it's by four stories and once it make it from the south to the north yeah. it's by five more. So, you know, man, um the only thing I gotta do is just speak on the real, like that's, that's it. it. That's all you gonna get from me. That's it, man. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing, you know what I'm saying? That's why we here. We finna, you know, just square it off and you know what I'm saying, go ahead and and, and and had this very important conversation, you know what I'm saying, uh, OG. You know, we were supposed to have, I was supposed to have you come back. We was gonna talk about the whole chop store thing, and which I have going on, and we'll we'll do that again. You know what I'm saying at a later time. But like, you know, uh, I don't I don't know who these people were, but they misquoted you. You know what I'm saying from being on the podcast the first time about a lot of the DJ Screw stuff, and you know what I'm saying just a lot of the history, and that prompted you going live on IG. You know what I'm saying, and then. Uh, you know, we kind of spoke on it there, and we lean chimed in, and now we're here to kind of just, you know, get it out the way, man. So, yeah. first of all, you know, uh, on your behalf, you know, just to clear it up off top, it ain't never no disrespect towards DJ Screw and anything, you know what I'm saying? That's always been understood. Never have, never have been, never have, man. If, if you know, just to take it, you know, all the way back, man, I'm the first one who represented for him on the radio, not, not with my show, I'm talking about. When I was working for 97.9 The Box in the 90s, y'all don't rem y'all don't remember not in the 90s. Y'all don't remember when 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 Screw passed in 2000. I got that recorded. Yeah. Yeah. You remember yeah. the? You got that recording? Yeah, that's what Spotify what? got it from. For me. When, for the thing. Wait they got minute, it for so, me. So wait a minute. So you got the? the I got mix the set. Yeah. That I did. Yeah. Stop lying. I got it on, I got it on my phone. Boy, I digitized it. Stop lying. Yeah. I, I always said if anybody Man, can build their real, listen, they'll know. Bro. That listen. was the first time. It was represented on the radio because I used to do it. Then Walter D started having me come in at midnight and do like 15 minutes. And then they hired Michael Watts you know what I'm saying? Mm. to start being a mixer on the radio. This has had to be, bro, this has had to, man, this is. So this was um, after school passed, before he passed. 
this was at, when Screw passed, they asked me to do the mix. That was the first yeah. time doing a mix on the radio? That was the first time. Or Screw time. Mix, rather? That was the first time it was a whole set like that. But Walter D would let me come in and sneak in. You know what I'm saying? Because I try I, to represent. Yeah, because I know it been like a couple of mixes. Like, what's what's the dude? Um, what's his name? Um, DJ that went to um, Dallas. Um, Steve Nice. Steve, Steve Nice. nice. You know, um, doing it. That was me. Yeah, okay. That was me and I because I was okay. the peon though, y'all. I was the van driver. I wasn't known as the DJ, so they couldn't be like up here, Ron C. DJ and doing it. They just mm -hmm. let me do it. And Walter D and Steve, they would let me do it at they at late at night. They would let me come in and do it like ten minutes, ten fifteen minutes. And and mm -hmm. it's and it's crazy because like at that point at, at that time, like we ain't know who probably was doing screw mixes at the box because when Screw went to the box. You know, he wanted to intern for free. He wanted just to, but the way he set his mix up was like. He set it up backwards. Backwards. Mm -hmm. But that really wasn't a problem. You know, they just felt like his music wasn't going to be around. Cause they See, told, Randy told that story. And he like, was nah, like. Nah, he, they, told nah, him nah, him like they told him like. It'll never work or something like that. His music ain't going to be here for like the next two years. It's going to be over with. You know. And and see, I once, didn't know it was for an internship. Screw yeah, wanted Screw to go. wanted to, man, he ain't need no money. He was screw already screwing and was going to intern for the radio. Yeah, it's like he wanted, he wanted to, to intern. Radio DJ, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He just wanted to intern to get, to feel like, come on, that's every DJ dream just to facts. Yeah, be on the radio, that. you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and like, and that's facts, you know, and, that, and for them to now or know him, and then when he, you know, his demise when he do pass. And see, we didn't know they this. got mixes. You know what I'm saying? Like a whole, like right? A, see, they we wasn't told DJ that mix, though. Like, yeah, yeah. We see, we wasn't told up in that. You know what I'm saying? And then the, somebody in that motherfucker know. You know what I'm saying? But see, they didn't yeah. come to us and say, see, "Hey, they, man, you know, well, y'all know we turned DJ screw down to be a D DJ, and then now y'all do." And it's politics, so, so they made us. Hmm. It, it was politics because you already know. Uh, um. Artists, uh, say like as a label or anything, any entity, they gonna make money off a person's death or you going to jail. So now they see that this DJ screw trend and of music is not going nowhere. So they gonna have to embrace it. You know what I'm saying? If the city gonna embrace it, they gonna have to. You know, and that's what like a couple like. So I did not the, mix, you know what I'm saying? Not not saying like you know the city, the fans, because they don't just know the everyday struggles or the everyday things that's going on with artists. And for the artists to see like, damn, my boy was here out through the nineties. You know what I'm saying? Now he did. Y'all got his mixes on the radio. Like, mm. wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's you know go back to the saying like you know give a dude his flowers. Right here, that's you know. Right. You know so that was. A point where motherfucker lost a bunch of respect for that part, you know what I'm saying? But as artists and as us doing music, we still have to have a relationship with these radio stations and these DJs. So, you know, sometimes some things you can't say, you know. So, you just gotta play it out, though. You know. And that's why and I took it upon my myself to make sure that the world knew the intent hmm. and not what we was. You know what I'm saying? You know, I didn't really care about what was going on because I knew what was going around right here. Something you got to fix. That's, you know what I'm saying? It's going to take time. Time heals wounds, right? I already knew that. So I said, let's focus on the world knowing. I didn't want it to get lost, bro. Like, if you ask these youngsters right now, who made the first <laughs> rap record? Everybody's still debating if it's cool, Herc, or if it's just, you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. See, I've refused to let that happen to what was started here. That's what was my whole motivation about that. See, I'm finna, I'm finna nip that in the bud. Like, the first this, the first that, the first whatever. When Screw was here, he chopping and screwing his music. He didn't have no competition because he didn't have a competitor. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, how can you compete with somebody that's not even doing what you're doing? You know what I'm saying? So the competition comes in when you got people that's 
you to motivate it and want to do the same style of music as you trying to do, you know, that, I mean, not trying, that you doing, you know what I'm saying, that you created. And, um, and DJing is, I always had the DJ battle down and before the rap battle. So it's always going to be some competition. But when it comes to school and chop. To a style of a that, style. That, that of style, he ain't had no competition because he have a competitor. Like, who else doing it? And not to mention, you know, they talk about, you know, Daryl Scott and Michael Price. They weren't yeah. doing it like screw, like they saying, this is what I'm doing. My whole tape anyway. going to be slow. Yes. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And then the, the question, everybody was like, man, you know, when I want to see, like, screw ain't never mixed the whole artist album. Now, think about it. Most of the artists are independent. Screw had a chance to mix everybody album, but answer this question, Don. If you can go get a weird lean album, chopped and screw, or go get it out of the store, what you gonna go get? I'm gonna get chopped and screw. <laughs> you feel yeah. me? So Screw wanted you to make your money. And he so, had issues before with other people, right? From yeah, my understanding, they were yeah, scared. like yeah, he, yeah, with, with other people were. Uh, to a point where when they see his money ties, you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's where the issue comes. But just him generally, every tape you buy out the screw shop is somebody mixed up. Somebody wrote a list. So if your songs just happen to be on that list, you you lucky that person who made that dub hmm. thought about writing you on this list. And if you had a new album out, screw wouldn't he would let you put like two to three songs. You know what I'm saying? Like, say if Face come out and come out, you can't go to school and do a whole dub or Face whole album. He might let you put one, two, maybe three, you know what I'm saying? But he didn't want to take from that artist, you know what I'm saying? So he wants you to make your money, you know what I'm saying? Like, screw, like, use him as an outlet, like, yes, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what, what DJs was for. was for, to promote. To now promote. You, now, you, you know understand what I'm why Screw did it, right? Like, you understand what that, right? Mm. Now, see, because, see, everybody fail to realize one thing of what I, about me, what I studied, and who, how I came up with what I came up with, is I decided to do that because, and if you listen to them from day one, they was always mixed. Anybody's album, they was mixed, right? You know why I did that? Mm. Because I wanted people to get the nostalgia. He couldn't, he wasn't doing it. But I, it was his. It was his style. It was his music, right? He the one start this, made this all cool, right? Hmm. We all agree with that, yeah, right? Right, right, right. Everybody sure. in this room agree with that, right? All right, so listen. when it, This is the reason why I mixed the tapes, because of what Willie just said. People pick the tapes out, pick their own songs out, right? So when you pop this in, I wanted to give you it to give you the nostalgia of you. It's F Screw done it. Hmm. Hmm. That's what it was. What, what did you... Uh... It wasn't the fact that I... No, I I thought of that, bro. I thought of taking your album and making it into a mixtape. I thought of that. I did because mm. of what just I didn't know that indirectly, but I studied Screw. I did. I studied Screw and I learned from like a Watts out of the mixtape game. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's how I came up with Run C with the Chop Not Slap style. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I studied all of them. Scott, everybody, all the ones that remember the ones on the north side that was doing it too from everybody, Tyrone, Bellway, everybody, Agnes, I can name all them niggas that was doing it too. You know what I'm saying? All them. That's how I came up with me. Hmm. And I said I'm going to do this because nobody didn't want to do it. And then hmm. when screw passed, everybody thought it's gonna die. No, it's not. Never. You know why? It's never gonna die. I'm gonna tell you why. You know what I'm saying? It's never, never gonna die that. because Screw been gone since 2000. Mm -hmm. If you go to that shop, man, the man got over 350 chapters oh, of, shit, of body of work he done done, and that's not even. I always say a thousand. And, and, new, and new old releases starting yeah. to pop out yeah, now. Yeah, with, yeah so a lot of, yeah. I, you I see, like, it's, 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 um, no, that's what's out. You can go right now. I thought it was you know what I'm saying? It's like 350, 60 chapters. But he still got enough music where the shop can drop at least 10 or 20 more tapes for the next 10 years. 
you know what I'm saying, that's never been released. And for somebody to have a body of work like that, and it still sells, I'm talking about, like the shit just came out yesterday. It's 2021. The man been gone 21 years. Mm-hmm. And for your music still to fly out of shelves, and you walk in there, and I walk, I be there daily, like, and I look, and you just see empty holes in the shelf. Man, we ordered 183. Right, we ordered 87. They didn't represent gone. June 27, man, it's back on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to steady just reorder, reorder. Like, it came out yesterday. And a lot and a lot of people don't know. It like, you know, even before the DJ dramas and the cannons, screw ain't, labels ain't never fuck with screw about putting their artists on his tapes. He get the records from the labels. You know what I'm saying? We go to school house. We probably, man, let me see that. Oh, it's instrumental on the back. Ah, we gonna freestyle that now. You know what I'm saying? So that's with that they wanted school to put. Man, true story. Let me tell you a story. True story. True story, man. All right, lump, big lump. Okay, Mac Ten was out there. So he was at the Embassy Suites, right across from um, what was that? Um, everybody was going to by Galleria. Roxy's. It was the Embassy Seats right across from Roxy's. That's where he was at. And it was me, <clears throat> Screw, Shorty Mac, and the third. The third was with us. It was the third. So, Lump, like, man, you know, Mac want to, you know, meet you, woo woo. So, boom, we leave, shoot to the hotel. When we pull up, Screw called Lump. Lump, like, man, I'll be right back 20 minutes over around the corner. So, Screw, like, all right. So, he get out the car. Go in and get some ice. <laughs> so when he come back, get in the car, you know, like every embassy suites is made the same. When you walk in, it's the atrium, and you could be like on mm-hmm, them. Mm-hmm. He, he say some niggas was upstairs, like, man, who was that? Who was that? You know, as he walking out the door. So when he sit in the car telling me that, two dudes come out. You know what I'm saying? They come out, they pop a truck up a car, get some shit out the car, go back in the hotel. They looking though. So Lump um Lump Kyle Screw. He like, hey, you on that parlor? He like, yeah. He said, like, Y'all four deep? He like, yeah. He said, I remember the calling boys up there, man. They just called me talking about, hey man, some dudes downstairs in the blue and parlor four D. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, yeah, nigga, it's a true story, man. And Mac Ten come down there, boom, him and his whole camp. You know what I'm saying? They was just like, man, he screw, man. Hey, man, I give you what Ever songs you want, man, I I just want to rock, you know, fuck with you, rock with you, you know what I'm saying, this whole camp, and that's crazy, because, you know, Mac was the blood, you know, he had crib niggas with him, you know what I'm saying, yeah, you know, so, it goes to show how his style of music, man, just was on a whole nother level, especially on the West Coast, that's, he loved the West Coast, you know, he did, hmm. you know, screw you. In the West Coast all day, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, just things like that. Like like I say, like, man, them, them labels, they were sending them records, you know what I'm saying? They wanted him to put their artist songs on them tapes, you know? So he never got a real backlash of people want to come sue him or hitting him because they got his, you know, he got that from <clears throat> down there, artists hit, you know what I'm saying? You know, just so, you know, but... Nah, it really wasn't no problem. Hmm. Putting them songs on his on his site, you know. So yeah. OG, when when you uh when you first yeah. hear like start hearing about like DJ Screw? Um, when I went to college, right before I went to college in uh ninety <clears> one, <throat> my homeboy from the north side, he was getting ready to go to Grammy. And he was like, Man, I gotta go to the uh, south side, man, get these DJ Screw tapes. And I was like, Man, what's that? He was like Shit, man, you know, DJ Screw, you know, DJ on Southside make these mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> that's the first time I had heard of it. I'd never heard of it, though. Never heard it yet. But when I get to college, he went to college the year before me. I went to college the next year, 92. And um, to Wiley, well, that summer, 91, 92. So, when I got there, I met some dudes from the Southside. And that's, in their room, 
That's all they was banging loud as hell. Screw DJ, screw all night. You know what I'm saying? My own boy, you know, he, fat boy, he locked up. You know what I'm saying? He locked up for a long time right now. But that's even my niggas, Andre and, and, and Marlon and all them niggas, want to put me on screw. Because they, they, they grew up in the, I guess they grew up over there. <clears throat> they was from over there. They from Southside. So, and we in the mix of this North Side, South Side thing. That you know, early? This is ninety two, bro. This this ninety two. Hmm. So it was that shit was heat. You know what I'm saying? So for me to go four hours away from the crib and at first when we first got there, yeah, it was north side, south side rivalry, right? Hmm. But we had to immediately become Texas. Um no, we had to immediately come first Houston against Dallas. Hmm. So we ain't have time for North Side, South Side no more. You know what I'm saying? We we got to put that shit down because now because we nigga we we away from home See, nigga. We got to represent for Houston now. So that's how my South Side, you know, became. So when I come back, I was I never I never got into I I never got to experience none of that because I had homeboys on the South Side. So now that I start working for radio in '93, and I'm driving the van, I got to go everywhere so I can come. And mess with them niggas over there. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I started meeting all these. That's how I met all them. You know what I'm saying? That's how I started meeting all them and niggas in the 90s. I've been on these niggas. And, right? a, and, a, and, a, and another thing I want to make clear. When you talk about 91, 92, North Side Beef, this way before Screw. Hmm. This way before they talking about on Screw Tapes, about cars still and all this. It was... Yeah, that, that was just some way. just some north side south side beef, you know what yeah, I'm saying? It just been going yeah, on yeah, yeah. in the city yeah. just so because when it when it comes up to that era when you know about the the screw tapes and you know the north side and the car stealing and you know most of that that was like you know the 94s and 95 96, you know what I'm saying? That that was that was that. And screw one never I don't know fuck north side type of shit. I'm finna tell y'all something y'all know. I'm finna, I'm finna tell y'all, tell y'all something. All right, my first cousin, my daddy's sister, son is my first cousin. You heard of R.W.O. Group, mm -hmm. Riverwood? Yes, sir. Tucci. Riverwood organization, yeah. Tucci, yes, yeah, Snow, yes. the product before snow. the other Snow. Exactly, right. Short, clean. That's all, yes. Tucci, that's my Black first cousin. Home, yeah. Hmm. He rapped on the screw tape way before some of these SEC members. Black Superman, like, yo. Yeah, black. No shit. And he from Riverwood. Riverwood. So it wasn't even really about, it wasn't really no, you can't be from the north side and be on no screw this tape. This is what I'm was, saying. Like, we were just watching the fight at the um, screw shop the other day, the, uh, the Wilder fight. And my cousin, too, he came up there and watched the fight with us. So, Bub, I always, you know, fuck him like, yeah. Like, he always say, like, yeah, nigga, I'm the first North Side nigga to rap on. Well, the only North Side nigga at that time rapped on the screw tape. Like, yo, my fairy, yo. Man, my good friend, man, was in, you know, when you know, the screw head got locked up for a few seconds. You know what I'm saying? Where they were, my friend was in jail with him from the North Side. Wait, screw got locked this whole album. Ain't nobody told this story. This is what, you know what I'm saying? This is how he tell me him and screw. Must have been for a day. Yeah, uh, whatever it was, uh, bro. Cause I don't remember All I know is him and school no time. was so tight. That nigga lived in the heart of Fit Water. Hmm. His name Keedra Phil. Look at that. See, like, nice. it was on, you know um, that's why I say it wasn't no. It wasn't, it never was. I, it wasn't, I told never you, know. what I told yeah. you on the first one. It never, never won that. Yeah. See, school was on, um, like, okay, like, you probably hear, like, people saying, like, you know, screw tapes, they, the sound, you know, something to be airy, you know, just like the quality. But you probably got a dub from a dub that's from a dub because one thing, Screw, main thing, he, the quality of his music, he wanted you to take your shit back to the music shop tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? That's how he, yeah, like, that's how he wanted his sound to be. You know what I'm saying? He wanted you to, nigga, knock some. The side he's molding off your shit, you know what I'm saying? Wild, yeah. yeah, so that's so um like I say, like it never wasn't on no, no see now that was probably us. The rappers coming <laughs> in there. 
but now see, no, 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 no. So I, I, that, but this is what I explained to Donnie. I told him that even if he was like. It, and, that, and, round, and I ain't just saying bro. me, it's just not you, niggas you like, you know, but if you like, we young, we kids, you know what I'm saying? So we feel like, hey, nigga, you, nigga, you took my lunch, but nigga, nigga, oh, fuck, man. you know what I'm saying? Nigga, you took my swing, nigga, hey, it's up there, like, you know, in school like this. Bro, I told you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tape, what I had on tape, Don. But he, got, yeah. he gonna ride for the yeah. whole team, like, hey. I told you what I had yeah. on tape. I you can't speak for nobody. I know what the man said to me hey, in shit. my face on a video. The man said it, bro. I ain't, ne- I ain't got no beef with no north side. Well, I ain't never had no beef with no north side. This man no. said this on a video record. I wish, boy, I wish God could pick that tape, pop back up. See, and then it was, it was like, this video shit. you know, I don't know. See, I, then you had, had the bootleg game. Hmm. Like, they, they bootleg at the sh- goddamn flea market on the south on, side before they... You know what I'm saying? But then when they, now nah, this comes, and the white sale are coming, you know, so honestly, like now you have people in the military that's getting screw tapes. Now, not saying whites, you know, I fuck with whites, watch my name. You know what I'm saying? But you got people now stepping whites on screw tapes. You know what I'm saying? And they overseas. You know what I'm saying? So that shit coming back, you. There's a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? You can't. The way I look at, like, the way I I look, I'm (laughs) observing shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, just like motherfucker clone me, clone you. You know what I'm saying? So, (laughs) to make some some money, like, hey, and then back then the mixtapes was hot. Shit, I don't give a fuck who I put on this show. I saw Will Lee. I saw Will Lee and clone before, for real. I no, saw I saw Willie, I saw a, I saw Willie clone and a fifty fifty clone at the same time in Cleveland, Ohio. Man, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> that's hey. one. I need to see. They are, be. Hey, man. Like, <laughs> but you know that's and like uh, school not here to speak on it. You know what I'm saying? So only thing I can tell you is what I you know what I experienced with the dude and school had his own personal relationships with a lot of people, but. Me and Screw, like, I'm my dog. Like, how, how did you how did you meet uh how did you meet Screw? Through, and it's a crazy part. Face. No shit. Face. Well, Face gave all right. Uh, Quincy, Quincy. That's um, oh, Cornell X. Yeah, mm-hmm. Little Toast. Mm-hmm. Um, brother, Quincy. So um, he had got a screw tape. From I mean, from Faith and and Q, you know, Quincy got Q dog, Q dog. He gave the 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 um, tape to note. They were for the great. They were like school doing like TDK. You know what I'm saying? Like the mm, clear tape, tape yeah. And they had a number on them. So nigga beat them. I'm gonna come through. So and back then, like you know, Biden man, Biden boys, like man, we had a. You know, we was kids, you know what I'm saying, in the streets, but, man, we had a name ringing so hard. So, you know, we reached out to school. Like, man, we went, man, we went by school hours. Was man. y'all going by the Bodney Boys in the streets as well before yeah. y'all was rapping? Way no before shit. the rappers. Like, way. Bodney Big Shots. We took every, every part of that word. No shit. Bodney Boys, Big Shot Records. And the little partner, I mean, older, OG older than us, you know what I'm saying, named uh, Jonathan Riley. They call him JR. He from Dead End. And he called his college by any big shots. That's what he Because y'all was so young getting it on like how yeah, y'all was. Yeah, he like, like by any big shots. Which is crazy, first of all. Can you talk just a little bit about that? Like, I had seen no D-Red and I'm talking about how y'all was just like 14, 15 riding around Benz Man, I'm, and Lexus like and this. crazy shit. I'm putting like this. I look at my son now, but he's 20. <laughs> but you think 14, 15. I remember that now. I'm in my slab. Man, they dog. Black and white. Like I'm looking through the stern wheel. You feel me? <laughs> I pull up on niggas at the light. And the first thing they're going to do, look at that car. Until they get to the window. You know how you look at a car, then you... Goddamn kid in that car. That's, that's all we got with it. I'm talking about with a, a hammer so big right here. 
Just like, hey. I you wish know, you would. Wish you would. <laughs> yeah. And, um, man, it was just, it, it was, we got, like, no, he, you know, and then not even head, this, then not even the rappers, like, Pappy, Ziggy, um, Beaver, like, we all had older cousins. See, we, we all from Cloverland, you know what I'm saying? Like, Cloverland Park, Cloverland Pool, it always was a, you know, the, it wasn't no suburbs or nothing, but it, it was it was cool when we all, I'm talking about, I mean, no, from first grade, you know what I'm saying? First grade, I'm talking about going on field trips, like, hmm. yeah, hmm. like this. Real life field trips. Yeah, yeah field you trips. fuck some kids up I'm right talking now. about niggas, like, yeah, field trips, like, yeah, me and this niggas in the first grade, trip, second grade. Googling that shit right now. What's the fuck? And fifth grade together, like, we had, yeah, me and Oak, you know what I'm saying? And, um, but I already got all these kids, and we had older cousins. Now, we came up in the era like say no to drugs. But I can go on the block and hustle all day and get in trouble for smoking weed. Like, yeah. Hmm. I go see a lot of motherfuckers don't want to, but then my could be like, I'm going to tell your mom you've been smoking. Like, on some real shit, you know what I'm saying? So, man, we just, some, and we took that to, we took that serious. Like, man, we going to get out here on this block. We ain't gonna run in no cars, man. We had a, a full scale operation. We took turns. You know what I'm saying? Like, this aisle for another seven. We took, nigga, when we get there, and then we gonna sit up here, man. We <laughs> we took turns because if you run to a car, somebody gonna serve if it's on the go. Hmm. We took turns. So we'd be like, don't, oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I gotta give you the break. <laughs> but yeah, we took turns, nigga. So that's gonna, who is on? Oh, it's on you, Donnie? Oh, who is that? We gonna oh, so it ain't no running to the car. Nah, and then we had a real operation. Like yeah, we we be riding in the car. We don't even know who on the block. And as soon as we get toward the hood, you probably hear somebody in the back seat say first, second, third, fourth. You know what I'm saying? Like the first person after the last person is on the block. Like that's yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, we slab. Oh, you want to go to the club tonight, huh? You go to the key. You ain't know who call with who's. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to oh, keep my shit three, four days now? I don't care. I'm going to be on the block. Y'all at the club. Like, couldn't go in the club. Hmm. We too young. Only club we can go in is Foxes. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> no, we in front of um, Carol. Kids out there parking lot. Kids. Pippin, man. What do you think? You that cannot go. Lot we cannot. Jamaica, from, Jamaica. Man. Cannot get in. Yeah, but we gonna be in. Come from H time, yeah. man. Well, we did, man. We parking yeah, lot. Yeah, man. Pippin, man. Hey, you couldn't get in. And that's all you gonna hear. Everything is black and white. Every mm. car black and white is about to bomb. Like, I went to Sterling. Mm. No one went to word. Dead end. Sunnyside. South Park. Sunnyside. Clover yeah. When the toast passed away, we made a pact. Like, and you know, people don't know this Cornell little brother. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about because everybody this he's came up like mentioned them like you did real quick. Can you just talk about why that was so important? Like that's a, that was a big deal on the south side, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, from understanding like when he got killed. And yeah, toast man, Toast he he started all these trends. Like, yes, he did. When you hear about somebody saying they got a yellow in the front seat, hmm. he kept them, yeah. And you hear the the fifth wheel, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, yeah, he started that. He did that. That was a little toast. You know what I'm saying? He was that was our era. Even though he's from South Vegas, we from Cloverland, but that was our dude. Like, yeah. So when it did get killed, we all felt that. You know what I'm saying? So we like no new friends. Mm. We don't want no new friends. If you ain't, you know, that was that time back then. Like, if you ain't grow up or, nah, we don't even want you around us. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't finna come to Cloverland or Biden with that book. You know. Like, you know. Like, we ain't fucking with nobody, but you not finna come over there. Because we, hey, we ain't letting that nothing go to sleep. Like, we, I leave them little boys alone. Like, mm. yeah, so, like, and, and even with, like I say, the dead end, and I went to, to Sterling. Now, okay, I'm fighting a bone from the dead. Like, I leave, you know, and um, Run G, you know, DA, like, Aileen, stay down the Kiwi, stay across the street. Like, these are... <laughs> You know, H time, Southside Lady, you know what I'm yeah, saying? So, real. Say they, 
after school, okay, we in front of my mama house. But with my um, no head, gator, them pappy, they pull up, ain't speaking to nobody. Hmm. <laughs> they just walk straight to my mama house. I mean, like, man, you probably be tripping. <laughs> man, be cool. Be cool, man. It's, man, look. And it, they had this camera, man. We kept this camera. Here. That's why we got ECC you know, to put the fat pad with the gas station. That's what they're doing. No shit. Now, man, we had that camera, man. Hey. Uh, that camera, everybody, no, man, we got, like, hours and hours, of, man, so much footage, like, yo, man, every, by like, every five years, man, no, you, you, I say, man, come on, man, bring them tapes out, let's watch this shit, I'm talking about, yeah, and at one point, everybody outside my house, and cool, and, the, like, my body, the club, they, they in the house, because they, like, where you friendly, and I go to school, you know what I'm mean? saying, but then they, nah, they, uh, so, cool got the camera. And you know you can only hear the person who recorded. He done zoomed in on Ron G or Kojak. Like, my niggas ain't know, he ain't know who Kojak was at the time, because Kojak had on, like, a little flat, hand-brown nigga. And he was like, man, who the hell are that nigga right there? <laughs> but you got with a head on him, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, just, you know, just, you know, bullshit and shit. But oh, when, you know, that's what made it just how everybody just, you know, blended. And especially screw house, you know what I'm saying? So it was like shit, one big family, you know what I'm saying? But it that ice was hard to break. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not just saying like nigga side side people. No, if you had niggas on side side now you fucking with each other, like that's mm. you got the same, same, same on the north, you know what I'm saying? So after that ice was broke and you know, the music then the click came is, and then the click the is just yeah, formed so and the bridge. just bridged yeah. everything together, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, I, I I done seen it, man, from the inside, man, from the day one to, you know, just being blessed to still be here and can just sit here and talk about it, man. I, I Man, and I'm not just saying this to be saying this. Mm. Like, you have, like, Poppy 3, 4, actually, they've been knowing school way before me, you know what I'm saying, in telephone days, you know what I'm saying? So, Quill Mello, like, mm -hmm. they, you know what I'm saying, 3, 4, 8, look. The pop, poppy, little pop, rocking out of them, yeah, rock, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like been flowing, you know, RD, you know, pro, yeah, so, you know, but just to see like the click, people come in and till, I see, and till, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like and he, Pat, Pat was, you know, and him and Corey, they, they go in the schoolhouse, just as much as us, you know what I'm saying? It probably just be him and Corey, hmm. but when we come, we at the station wagon, the other hoops. It's about nine bit bitty, and I'm talking about everybody got a gun big enough. Screw you, be like, man, y'all, hey yeah, man, y'all, hey, <laughs> man, yeah, like, yeah, you know, the man. Y'all, y'all were the first ones to to freestyle on the on the tape, right? Yeah, you know, I wouldn't even know that. You know, it was just no. And my partner Beaver, you know, he just came home where he been on for a minute. He was gone having a uh, twelve piece. He rapped on the screw tape before me. He don't even rap. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> he, said, he in the yeah. mix. All right, I'm going to get on the bike. Yeah. Yeah, but that, if you listen day. to them tapes, though, man, you can tell. Like, if you listen to some of them, go deep into some of them tapes, bro. Man, like, listen to June 27. You can bro. tell some of them. Man, you know. The, that, come on, bro. And then that was just a. Oh, and that's just a. Look, okay, check this out. Hey, check this out. Yeah. So, Bug, he a fine. Like, man, screw left a lot of work. So, Bub, he, like, when I'm out of town, he called me, I got something for you when you get back. I get back, a couple of days go by till we back there. He, man, come to the studio. We go in the studio. He put a tape in, boom. I'm like, that's, that's Gator. Hmm. That's me. Oh, that's Lil Pooh. Or they see no. We would I say don't somebody gonna say the year. Somebody gonna say the year. Just 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 let's listen. The whole thing we ain't rapping about a whole bunch of nothing. Motherfucker this, motherfucker <laughs> that, motherfucker that. Yeah, it come pool. It's the nine one coming to the nine deuce. One side. So Bub like, why ain't nothing on the other side? I say, this is why Bub. We'll go to schoolhouse and rap. You can go nowhere, rap, get that tape, and go right outside in the car, put it in the car, and listen to yourself. 
you can only do that at Astro. They had that little or in, or in the Galleria back in the day. But for you to record something, I didn't record in the studio, just right then and go to the car and listen to it. All right, screw, screw, now just give us that dub. We're going we gonna to make some dubs <laughs> off of it. When y'all going to put your songs on, we're going to come back and do the other side. But when we come back and do the other side, we want to rap again, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so we never completing the tape. So that's why you're going to have. Just incomplete one, one side. That's why you're going to have rapping. one side, just a bunch of rapping. Because when we go back, nah, we ain't, we want to uh, rap again. Hey, we like, okay, throw on a beat. And there it go, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man, that was just. That explains June 27 to the T. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, like June 27th, <laughs> I went personally there, but that was Demo's birthday. They, yeah, I wish I that they had a whole bunch of fun was, that day. Yeah, mm. that's explains it. That's you know what, what I was going to say. Well, people were rappers, you could tell even on June 27th yeah. when they start getting some. Now, I can't even say when they get to the middle. Yeah, it, all through there, you can tell people yeah, just there yeah. having a good time. Oh, man, I'm going to get on there and just see, hey, baby, it's going down. I'm going to hit it. Was y'all doing it like that at hey, Switcher House or were y'all more? Same thing, bro. It was just about fun atmosphere, bro. It mm. never was about, nigga, we never was talking about no competition, bro. Find the tapes. I tell everybody, find the tapes. Find the tapes that what we was trying to make it. Find them. Man, I'm telling you, ain't none because first time, just like he said, it's the first time I heard no the slim. competition. Mm. First time I heard the slim, like um, this girl, this girl, <laughs> this girl, man, she's this girl. She uh, she going to school to Sam Houston, so she come home. Oh boy, you got She come man. home and shit. I let her stay my little time, man. And, and she had a, she like, man, this dude can rap. This dude can rap me for the north side. I'm like, man, who rapping on the north side? Like, he can rap. I'm telling you, he sound like y'all. You know what I'm saying? Bro. So, oh, man, put the crazy. tape in, man. I'm like, oh, okay. It was Slim. She like, I like Slim. I'm not Slim. Like, who? You know what I'm saying? I, man, I'm, hey, true story right here. Just, man, man, hey, man. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, little homie got something. Okay, yeah, hey, okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, and this early, this is like ninety, this is like like ninety eight. This is this yeah, this is like like nine eight yeah, around that time, like nine yeah, around okay. that like nine eight nine so, nine. But about I'm like, like, like about you know, nine seven nine because yeah, that's around, when he said it on. He said around something that, about you know, flex about me or P A T. That's when girls man. really start catching. Yeah, I'm nine, talking about a female nigga, like a straight female. I ain't never heard no slim. And she put me on snow, and I like. I said this, didn't I say that? That's how we got over yeah, there. Some girls, yeah, 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 You know what I'm saying? And um, and she, and she from the south side. You know Validating what I'm the shit out of my story. I she said from the south, the but like I say, she was going to school in Sam Houston, and she just came back one weekend. Like I said, I let her stay at my spot, watch her clothes and shit. She <laughs> went go home. You know what I'm saying? And she like, then it made me listen to the tape. But it was slim, you know what I'm saying? And like from that day, I was like, okay. So once I started hearing. And, Send them, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so, you know, hmm. it was cool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, I yeah. Done, you know, but me going back to say, like, even with, you know, SUC, I done sat there and just seen, like, every, boom, you know, screw fucking with this, you know, he coming, he, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And I don't know, my dad, I got a memory like Elephant, man, because I can remember a lot of shit. That nigga, no be tripping on that beat. Like, man, the boy, remember. Man, can you talk about when y'all did that, uh, when they came over there and did the straight from the streets and y'all did the freestyle at Screws House in the living room with all that? Were you all... Man, you know what? Um, that was... And, and that was crazy because it was straight from the streets. You know, they had their little show um, with, with Hatter. I'm going to tell you a story about that name. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, um, that, I, I fuck with Hatter. He cool. That's my nigga. I don't know. Like, nah, um... But yeah, it was for that show, and um, just so happened like the dude, the dudes who filmed the show, Pedro and Larry, it was a uh, uh, Pedro. He's Hispanic. Ain't no no English. Hey, cool yeah, as fuck. I forgot about old Pedro. And Larry, yeah. let me tell you something about that though. Black school, dude. That black school. They was the production crew for Straight from the Street show. You know, before the Street Flavor when they had it. Yeah. Guess who shot Thought of Men Away's video? Hmm. Larry and Pedro. No shit. Yo. Yo. So they get over there to shoot and y'all like, oh. No, like, you no, know, no. It was like once, you know, we had see Pedro. He's another one. He know no. 
and he used to stay off of Kirkwood bitch and they behind that Kroger's man and he's another one that got footage like if we ever find him because man we could be at show Oasis pay your hand from the ceiling hey yeah. with a camera so but he didn't know like a, um a lot of you know just the the the, the who goes with who would grew you know what I'm saying because it was at a time when um we was gonna sit on over oh, well, piss control, Ariel, you know, go over there with him so he can go through some of his. tell you, cause you know, Ariel, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of people in the clique. But yeah, Pedro, like, they shot, you know, once we got to the point we wanted to shoot a video, you know what I'm saying? Reached out to them and they shot our video, Pedro, and uh, yeah. Without him yeah. anyway. That was so hard. Boys jumped out the, out the yeah, helicopter, man. Yeah, man. Like, uh -huh. yeah, that like, was so hard. That, y'all that boys looked so hard man, jumping out the helicopter. Like 28 bro. grand, dog. Like oh, something shit. you probably can shoot with your phone right now, man. That be the old twenty-eight thousand dollars, dog. I think you say some shit. We can shoot with your phone. That's right crazy. Oh, man, that be the old twenty-eight grand, dog. You was uh, you was gonna say the the, the hat store. You said you had the store by hat. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> man, you know, hat had my dude, but uh, but ain't no buts. Had my dude, you know what I'm saying? But it it was this uh, situation we had recorded the song without him. Man, no, um, on on this on this on this album. I think I think you told me this. Go ahead. <laughs> and and um, <laughs> we 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 get to the studio off night. The staff is very crazy to see, man. So me and no, we you know, we get over there, man. So my boy Halle, like, man, what's up? No, hey, what's up? Woo, woo, woo. Man, they say, man, screw out here, man. Fried out and tripping. Like, huh? Man. It's the first thing you say to y'all when y'all get to man. Um, so me and No looked at each other like, he like hell, man, he tripping hell now, nah, you know what I'm saying? So he like, man, I'm finna go and lay my verse. Y'all write to the song. <laughs> that nigga had a window and started spinning his verse. That nigga say, your whole click fried out. That boy don't say, hey, crazy, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> He was for the diss screw on the song with y'all. I don't know if he was the diss him, but he was just, you know. That was what? <laughs> no shit. You know, them nigga does it. They like, hey, young man, come on, young man. <laughs> man, you just said what we got him. Come you on, said. bro. So, really had a clue. Clueless. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, had a little green. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he fresh from, uh, he nah, fresh he from know, North but, Carolina at that he, time. He clueless. You know but it just was like. It was so he like, you gotta write that, rewrite that, man. You can't, yeah, I'm gonna you, that. You, you can't say that, though. No. You just can't. Stop that, bro. Stop that, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> nah, hey, hey. So, you know what I'm saying? But that's how do I do, I man. I ain't got no love, love for it, man. That's just a little funny story, you know. But he ain't. He ain't mean no harm, no nothing, you know. Nah, Hatter's a legend. No, that's why I said he was just fresh from North Carolina. Yeah, he didn't know how we done. And then probably the way he he asked him, he probably said it wasn't to him. He ain't thinking nothing of it. Yeah, like that. But it's like you can't do that though. Cause he thought that. Cause that's what was going on. Yes, you see, and then he doing the song with us. And if you hear the song, it's a gangsta ass song. Like we, you feel like the song is kind of. It's just, <laughs> I like the song, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I gave him some shit on that motherfucker, so. Boy, that's funny. That's man. how he was coming, like, you know, so. He just ain't matched the, you know, so. Hey, it, it just ain't sitting right with us. This is so. just too close to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, bro, but. Stop that work. You know, that one thing I got to say about, you know, I had a man, you know, you, you know, with us, you know what I'm saying? He showed a lot of love. Respect our ways, you know what I'm showed saying? Us, and, he showed us all love because he know, signed me. He with no disrespect, me, so none of that, you know what I'm saying? Me. So, yeah, he. Matter of fact, you said. Yeah. With the. Uh, was that the first album you were saying you did with the Chopper Screw? Uh, you did yeah, something Matt, with that. That's why I said people don't really even understand that the respect and the love that Matt had or even had for Screw. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he fucks with screw, you know what I'm saying? So, even when Hatter was, see, this is what Hatter was trying to bridge that too, was trying to let people know, like, we would see, Hatter knew, we worked at the radio station, bro. Hatter knew we wasn't trying to steal this man's music, bro. Hatter knew that. If Hatter knew that, you think Hatter would have been condoning me doing what I was doing for his stuff? Hmm. I was doing it for Mad Hatter. He, him and Screw had a good relationship. And it's like the, the really, so it never was it's really, no disrespect. It's like um, it, politics. Folks, I understand, you know what I'm saying. Especially in radio, it's politics. You know, it's 
It's some things you can do. It's, it's a lot. It's some things you can't do, but it's a lot you can't. You know what I'm saying? Because you jeopardizing right. your job, your livelihood. You know what I'm saying? So, as a you know, dude in the streets, you know what I'm saying? I I, don't, I ain't looking at it like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you but a person that gets up working nine to five got a real career. You know, so you gotta. It's gonna be politics. It's gonna be certain things you can do, certain things you can't. It was Mad so, Hatter's idea you know though. What I'm after school pass, it was mad how they had his idea. It was not my, probably, my idea. Now, I agreed to do it, yes, because who, he, he knew I could do it. Whoever told that boy's music wasn't going to last a year, man, at that box, I know they felt some type of way, like, damn. Well, I ain't going to call him out, but you know what I'm saying? Gonna call, ain't call away, man, now. <laughs> no, huh? But, you know, it's, it's hey, man, everything but politics the, to this day. People didn't believe in rap. Rap was still early, too. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? People didn't believe in rap in 91, 92, yet, that hard yet either now. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then screw for screw to be ten years ahead of time for when the world's gonna like something. Mm. Of course nobody don't wanna jump on the first. You know what I'm saying? Ninety one, ninety two? Shit, of course nobody Boy, they were saying we sound retarded in ninety seven. So just think what they were saying in ninety one for to to screw. Mm. When I started reaching it out outside of the world, they said y'all sound retarded. Hey man, and it's so, so just imagine. And it's so crazy, man, cause like out there, right? You know, I'll be at the come through the shop, you know what I'm saying? I'd be up there a lot, you know, on my downtime or just up there. There's so many people, man, especially female. Like, I don't listen to school, like, every day, you know what I'm saying? But you got people, man, that, hey, man. They do. Man, dude coming up, man. This is no, no exaggerate, man, coming up, like, looking up at the board and, like, man, I'm, Lost my job, my wife and leave me. I just need a screw, man. Would you? Mm. Like, 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 man, whatever I'm going through, man, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Would you refer? You know what I'm saying? Big A, like, hey, buy three, get one free. You know what I'm saying? Like, he lying, man, what you have to, you know? And it's like a, you know what, man? It's, it, and it's like, it's like a, um, how you say it? Like, um, what's, what's that little game show? Like, like trivia, um, um, goddamn Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Yeah. You know, you go in that shop and you fucking with it and bub like, hey man, what song that UGK done? And I think it back though. That f oh man, that chapter on um, mm -hmm. such and such. Mm -hmm. Hey, oh, no. you, you can tell you can hit him with like how when the they, beat when, go. When, yeah, Bro, yeah. No. When, when, hey, when he blended this with this, yeah, man. Bro, oh yeah, that no. man he did that on such. That's such. That's mm -hmm. ninety three. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, man? Oh, chapter one eighty. I be like, I just know the ones I'm on in a couple of more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But them boys know it, like. Well, no, that shit. Say, man, that is like trivia to them. Like, they just go to them. I tell, I, I say it all the time, man. The, the screw shop is one of the most important places in this city. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I just, I wish more people would go. It's, it's, it's popping, mm -hmm. but I think it should be one of the most busiest places in the city because it's one of the most yeah. important places. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know. I, I, it's all. It's been. I always thought it was, you know what I'm saying? But when I know it was always popping, I don't know, I don't, I, you know, we don't hang out. The North and South Side is alone. We, we don't really just mm -hmm. hang out like that over there every day. Hey, you man. don't just ride through the South Side every day, right? So I don't know what's going on over there on the daily. Say, it's say, just like, say, we, man, you know, man. but I know, if all I know, it's always been. It's always going down. Yeah, I'm going to tell, yeah. tell you something about the school shop. Even at schoolhouse, or uh, even at the old shop. If you got beef with somebody, man, I don't care who it is, man. If y'all at schoolhouse or around this thing, that shit it. is like y'all fuck around, be friends by the time like it's it's that much respect, you know what I'm saying? And man, I'm not gonna some wood, man, cause I goddamn, I'm scared to say this, table, man. man. I'm not gonna some wood, man, hey, cause I look at every place in Houston from every studio to a club to. Man, y'all can't say one incident that happened at these shops, man, right. the school. Hmm. A block party, you know, had so many, you know what I'm saying? And that's just the love, like, you know, I don't care where it's how the time, man. You know how many people come from the north side daily over there? Not even that. Right. I done been in there. I done been in there and the people, man, man, we just got in from Austin, man. We just came to get bro, a tape. I ain't never went we over there, bro. Never. <laughs> I've never went over there, Same ever. Man. And these niggas not show me love. Never. Oh, we get. I got. Oh, we got Never. this one day though. Man, I'm the biggest screw fan. Coming up, boy, I'm the biggest screw fan. Screw head, man. I got every screw. 
Like, man, you ain't got no every screw. Man, I got every screw. No, screw ain't got every screw. You know what I'm saying? You can't say, man, I got every screw. You know what I'm saying? All right, man, go on through look what you, you know, what you're missing, you want to get. You know what I'm saying? He go through looking at boo boo boo. The boy spun around, the boy said, hey, let me get that screw power all over. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Yes, I swear. <laughs> come on, man. Say, bro. hey, say, look. Next oh time you come by the shop, just, just, just ass bub. Just say, man, dudes, boy, we, man, we like, nigga, if you don't get your ass up out of here just for that question. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then coming this time, about you, you got, got my. That, that's what killed That's what killed Ass Red. Man, ask, man, ass Red. Hey, DJ bro, Red, baby. man say, I got a mile, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, Bub, like, you know, you know, Pow Wow, the coolest white dude on the planet. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bub, like, he's, I call Pow, Pow come through. You know what I'm saying? Like, no if, no and, no buts, oh. no questions, man. Pow, yeah. That's Pow, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man. So, yeah, that, it but that, always you know what I'm saying? always love, bro. That's why I'm saying, listen, I'm telling you, man, before, when I even know Bub, the first time I ever went over there, you know what I'm saying? The man has always showed me love, bro. Hmm. Then when I told him I had these folks want to come over there, the man was even open more wide, you know what I'm saying? And showed me even more love, you know what I'm saying? When it brought even folks over there, you know what I'm saying? Willing's always been there when I go there too, a lot of times, you know what I'm hmm. saying? So that's the reason why I was saying, you know, uh, Willing can tell you a lot of stuff, because I know Willing, you know, you know what I'm saying? He's always been there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I see them pop on the thing, I was like, if he can't answer no questions, he nobody can. You know what I'm saying? Cause she, it, 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 like, I know he's biting it, boy. You know what I'm saying? I know that. And, you know it, what I'm and even me, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, hey man, it's just that that screw fan. It's like a court dog. You know what I'm saying? They they just they ruthless. You know what I'm saying? Like they just man, I don't care who man. They just cutthroat. And that is and the can't, truth, You just can't do bro. nothing about it. You just got to. Mm -hmm. I said You know what I'm saying? saying? Like, and that's the thing. is like you got to understand it, Screw passed away in 2000. But yeah. what y'all doing with the Chop Stars is very important for an artist as huge as Drake to drop these official collaborations with y'all. The 21 Savage, the Little Dragon. The, you know what I'm saying? Like this is important to keep that Keep you know, it's going. just for the Martin because it's just like what he said, man, going back to when people come into that shop, man, bro, and they just like, I got to have it. You know what I'm saying? It's still lingering on to their kids, bro. Yeah. Because their kids done grew up with their daddy and their mama all right. their life. And their daddy and mama been jamming screw all their life. So guess what? They want to hear they, they shit. They want to hear little baby now. Slow down. You know what I'm saying? Because screw can't. You know, it's not. Yeah. That's why we. But it's my. It's your, to, your take to, on it. Yeah. It's, this is what I'm going to do to make sure that people know. Yeah. And keep it going, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's never going to die. It's never going to die. But I'm going to make sure that the young kids, too, not only do you get the history, but you can understand and get some respect for it, too, because you can understand now and get, get what you like. Slow down. And you know, this is DJ. They they confusing it. They do. But we under, we make them you know, understand. No, we're holding it down for the legacy of school, bro. This is what we always say. Go back and I'll tell it. This is what was made me so mad about them dudes, bro. Go back and listen to what I said. Go back and find any tape. Man, I got a call one time. I told you about that. Mm -hmm. I got a call one time to not say DJ Screw's name on my mouth. I got that call. When I told some of my SUC partners about that call, it was a disturbing call for them. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't appreciate me, the person giving me the call. Because they always knew me. I ain't never said nothing disrespectful. Bro. I ain't never walked that line, wrote that. I ain't never had no reason to. From 91, I was always invited. That, that, that's, that's why I say it goes back to <clears throat> a definition of a, even if it's an artist or a screw fan or screw head, they just going to feel like anything that's <laughs> Imitating, <laughs> nigga, they ain't taking shots. Man, you know what uh, I'm saying? And you just gotta, you know, be a man, stand them, and you know, and just let them motherfucker know the real. You know what I'm saying? And educate like, them. That's yeah, it. That's, that's it. all you got to I do. Mean, yeah, educate them, bro. Educate them. You know. Educate them, and, and, and make sure you, you know, you educating them about the right what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't go and tell, cause everybody can. And if I yeah. said if I'm if I'm wrong, even if I was young, and I said something. When I was young, I still didn't. You still can't even go find that. Hmm. 
what I'm saying? Because it, it's not in me. If it was in me, it would have been there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was a lot of times I want to say some smart mouth and back because <laughs> I was I knew the girls. The girls were giving us the screw tapes. That's how we was getting them and finding out that what was being said. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. That's how we find. Just he just said he just told you the girls. The yeah. girls, right? Then, so the girls, then, she just like they were jamming us over there. She, they were jamming them over there. Oh, shit too. She, they, she, yeah. So that's how I knew, and I would tell watch, man, they finna, they finna bomb on us. Oh, I was the small mouth, yeah, but I wasn't no, t I ain't never been no tough, that kind of tough guy. <laughs> it's just when you hear something, you want to just, it's, it's you want to stand up for yourself. Yeah, the sound, it wasn't no. It's just you want to stand up. We had text yeah. Italia, you know. What it saying? wasn't no. I'm finna go, man, come on, bro. It never was none of that from none of us, bro. We never, all at that time, 18 of us. And, and, I, and I'm gonna tell you, like, cool. when you hear that shit on the screw tapes, them niggas' cars really got took, you know what I'm saying? Like, these boys really um, are taking losses, so you know what I'm saying? So what they saying is really like, you know, it's not directed to a whole, even though it is, you know what I'm saying, but at the same time, he, he boy felt like they didn't got something took it. Probably been to do right around the corner on the south side. We don't know, but hey, but we know where all our cars ended up at out right mm. there, you know. So they probably, yeah, they, right. they like man, you know. So what was being said at that time really was happening, happening. you know what I'm saying? So that's it, you know, it's gonna be a cause and effect on anything, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like that's what it's, it's you gonna have. The uh, action and the reaction, like you know, it's gonna go both ways, you know. So, but well, Watts knew we had nothing, had nothing to do with that. That's yeah, why he would so, never let us do that. Yeah, yeah. Find, I, I tell anybody, find it. He would never let us do that. He wouldn't let us shoot shots, nothing, bro. Cause if you did, you come back and your shit would be off of there. At the end of the day, was, like I say, nigga, nigga out here in the streets. So we know is no, it's not the rappers on the on the north side that's. <laughs> Stealing, stealing our motherfucking cars. <laughs> it's by some niggas out there. I mean, we know it ain't. You know, we know it ain't the robber. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, that was you know and saying? it was so, and it was messed up, bro. That people didn't really that screw not here to really really give y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all talking to the people, man, out there. The screw not really here to give y'all and tell y'all, bro. That himself, we got to tell y'all, and y'all got to take it from us as the G's to believe that man, because that, that man he never was about that, bro. I'm saying that, and I say that from the north side of the standpoint, and this man from the south side, he telling it like it is, man. So for people to for me to just have to be here explaining myself, you know, what I'm saying about what I said on the first episode is ridiculous, yeah. bro. We you know what I'm saying we got to move past this shit, and, bro. You know what I'm saying it's the and, real shit. And I don't know, though, like. Like, like screw ain't had no problem with motherfuckers on the north side. You know what I'm saying? It's in that. You know what I'm saying? But these screw partners who getting their shit took. You know what I'm saying? So, but at the end of the day, it wasn't no. Let's just go mob up nigga and just ride to the north side nigga and just lay some shit down like and screw nah. You know we gonna protect screw. Screw ain't. Yeah, screw wasn't you about know, that. You, if, you, if it was like you know that, those niggas like, don't get me wrong them. now. Yeah. The outside niggas was. It, don't get me wrong. Oh, screw, man. hey. I heard he had that AK. You know what I'm saying? Nah, he, he and he kept one. He kept his rocket. Hmm. Hmm. He, he, oh, screw kept that rocket. Even when I ain't had one, screw. Yo, I'm, you know, yeah, big the feeling, but nigga, screw gonna keep that rocket. They ain't, they ain't gonna give. Yeah, screw. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Like nah, he ain't, screw he ain't, he ain't finna play with him. Like he ain't no, no. You know what I'm saying? Screw you, Ryan. Like I say, he's queer mother. You know what I'm saying? Three feet, mm -hmm. right there on niggas. So you know, okay. niggas gonna have to be thorough. Everybody like everybody had their own beef on their own you know side of town so, too, bro. Like anybody. Yeah, did. so it wasn't like screw you. You know, every go luggage. Nah, he, he he in the trenches with this shit. Like you know what, yeah, what it is out there. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, nigga, yeah, the man, streets so. is everywhere, nigga. The nigga streets were just they people try to make it seem like it was just like, nah, nigga, we mm. ain't after each other, Nick, bro. We got our own problems on our own side. Mm. Everybody got their own problems on their own side, my nigga. Mm. You know they trying to get some money, man. Like that's the main focus that's during right. that time, like, nigga, you know. And if a problem arose, you know what I'm saying, nigga, gonna handle accordingly. You know what I'm saying. That's coming on both ends. So you know, if you do something, man, it's gonna be. A re, you know, a county reaction if motherfucker do you know so just to 
You nip that in the bud. If you not about that shit, man, just go sit down somewhere. Mm. If you don't want to take it there, just, you know, chill back, you know, count your losses, man, and, man, them and keep it pushing. And them albums over there, too, though. Real talk, though. Them niggas was really putting out the albums. Yeah. Remember I said that? Mm-hmm. Them niggas was putting out albums before yeah. we, before we and, was putting and, out and albums the, like that. Man, man the first know. song we ever recorded was Smoking and Leaning, man. No shit. The first song we ever got in the studio and recorded in a real studio was Smoking and Leaning. And a lot of people thought we was talking about, like, shooting and smoking niggas and leaning on switches. No. We talking about smoking and leaning. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Look at that. What? Nine, four. You know, what's this? 2021 down to 22, yeah, man. You got yeah. my keys still going there. down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so, you know, yeah. man, it's, and a lot of, you know, and I get that, like, a lot of, a lot of folks be like, you know, oh, man, like, we know, man, we inspired a whole movement, man, just as us, as kids, and taking the initiative to really go in the studio and record an album, get doing photo shoots, you know what I'm saying? Graphics, pen and pixel. I mean, they are, you know, you, you got it, the overhead back then was so high. Like right now, you don't have an overhead, you know what I'm saying? You had to go do a photo shoot. It was a real like investment, yeah. 15, 2000. Then they got to do artwork with That's probably another 2500. You right there at 4500 5000 just for an album cover. You can do this shit on your... I can hit somebody right now then you want for $30. Penny Pixel. Mm. Penny like, Pixel, too. You know what I'm saying? Time. Like, yeah, man. In the studio time, just like we're going to get blocks. You got to you gotta get a 10-hour block just to dump beats. Just to dump one beat. If it got 28 instruments, it's like listen to that song 28 times because you got to let everyone on pass. These little rappers. These, they, these, they, you know what I'm saying? They, and then now when it take to upload, import a track for a couple of seconds. Man, you know what I'm saying? But I don't knock the young, like, you know, I, they motivate me too because they getting, we can't, hey man, I look at it like I can't knock the youngsters because they out here doing what they need to do. If we had them tools, Back then, we had the social media, and we could just record, like, right here. I could spit some shit and take it to Bruce Bain, get it mixed and master. I would be doing that, too. If I ain't got to press up a CD, I could just upload my music and the album cover. be out tomorrow? I, yeah, what? Tomorrow? Yeah, I'm going to do that, too. Like, yeah, you know, so possibly. I, I, you know, I give them pride because they already getting a real bag, man, and, yeah, and they couldn't let them labels out. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man, so... Yeah, see, that, see I'm that glad shit, you said you know that. See, they 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 had record deals at first. You know what I'm saying? They've been they they was rapping in the ninety twos, ninety threes, ninety fours, right? Like what he just said, ninety four, right? Mm-hmm. It's like during that time, bro. It's like that was the era. Everybody thought that the swanger era came with Paul and Slim. Now, oh, it didn't. The era was ten years before that. Shit. Well, one, it was not, even before the end. Actually, yeah, not, the 80s, actually 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Really? This is when, you know saying? Like Probably longer than that. I don't know. 83 and 84 when they came out. That's like, when they that's came that's out. But I'm saying when we started making it cool, like the really. Shit, like, yeah, that's when they came out because they called oh, 83 and 84. Gave my first set of swankers. Yeah. Like, hey, gave yeah. them to me. Hey, hey that man, my yeah. MOG gave my first set. He told whatever I bought a car. I bought it and he was locked up. He like, man, yeah. take my mama $200 and get him out the house. Mm. Shit, nigga. So, yeah. You know, what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man. So, even before us, That's man. Just, like, yeah. I think you know, we, I think we probably elevated the, uh, uh, elevated the swingers and start putting and I, and uh, I, I, neons in the trunks. And co- this is what we did. They air rappers. Because this is when the woofers came out. Kickers and shit. And niggas start putting domes like Corey Blunt and shit. And them, these, these niggas got, niggas, you can't even get in their car because they got motherfucking 87 pioneers in that hole. Like, niggas don't even think that li- was literally something. Like, no, nigga. I seen niggas I know a couple 50, of slabs right now still got 50, still got 50? Them. I ain't seen one like that. I haven't seen oh, niggas yeah, got, used to have, got before they, they yep. mm-hmm. hey, he got one with, a, about, yeah. with number six by nines, that bitch now. Mm-hmm. Man, I ain't seen, I, oh, I wish, man, I need to see him. Where you at, dog? I need to see you, yeah, because listen. Glenn, white boy Glenn. That's yeah, hey, man, because listen, yeah. back in the day, bro, when, man, I'm telling you, bro, that's, man. And a lot of people, like, when they rap surround by sound, like they don't really know what they talking about. Surround by sound, we what? They don't even know what that means. Talking about from Floyd, from the actual. Yeah, from Floyd, you know what I'm saying? Actually, like 
So like he really gonna put that's the only thing you had in your see the neon is just a light, you know what I'm saying? Then you gonna have that that silver plate that say surround by sound your shit. Because, you know, they top notch doing and you know, Big Floyd, he from South Africa, he from the yeah. but the showers on the east side. And like blunt, toast, mm -hmm. no. And not too many that really just went to Floyd. You know why? <laughs> Floyd higher than a bitch. That shit high, nigga. <laughs> yeah. You get that pop trunk with your one neon young light nigga in that, that man shit. That shit high. Yeah. Then like you go one, Alfredo, man. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they afraid of way fucking everybody, man. Like shit, they like, afraid of everyone doing stats spots like boy. Yeah, everybody man, wants before they made a wolf on nigga. You know what I'm saying? You gonna get base, nigga. You put a, put yeah, the, three way six by nines in that hole. We have mm -hmm. cup holders in them old mm -hmm. car. When we're afraid of did our inside, he gonna put them console with them cup holders in there. Mm. Come on, shit. man. Only cup holders you had with the old school ones. Your mama used to have the little, yeah. the little tray with the <laughs> that sit on the little hump right yeah. there. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> shit, man, you had to get your shit on customized, man. <laughs> but I'm kind of happy though that they did come back with the, the, the swingers because at a point, a lot of people were losing their life. For the rims, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, had them big at, shout out to Texas wine. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that was that was a good thing. Like it, it's like a gift and a curse because. The gift is that now they're accessible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The curse is that when I see them, put them on like, anything, yeah. Oh, anything. You <laughs> oh, know that's what I'm saying? The like, that, 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 that's the curse. You, you ride know, by so. the motherfucking God, nigga. Is that a Corolla? I, I know, nigga. I, man, some who got on. Um, that boy had a photo fleet. That boy had a photo <laughs> Fleetwood. Man, I'm like, that boy had some. I'm like, now this, and that's a slab, man. You know what I'm saying? Like that's 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 it right there, man. But I know shit, the, man. I know I know like, some of my partners that's got the got the fifth wheels on the on the Corollas. They're like, damn, OG man, shit. I thought you like my shit. I do like your shit, but boy, I'm just saying, <laughs> it is still a Corolla with a fifth wheel on it. That's all yeah, I'm man. saying. Yeah. Your shit clean though. You know, it's clean, my like, nigga. Hey man, but <laughs> you know, you teach his own. You know what I'm saying? Teach so, his own, my nigga. Hey, but that's why I say, like, you know, I'm. Cause you know the the um, the 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 violence in them and people getting shot over some rims. Man. Yeah, man. Cause you definitely. Cause like he said, what they was riding with. Big had stick, to, like, man. Big stick, man. Had to, man. I'm, yeah, I remember was... coming up, man. I, man, I'm telling you, I remember coming up homestead, going to my my same Kim folk high, me him and head, man. And we know we on on Hempstead, we gotta go Riverwood, and then, like. Damn. I ain't even gonna take the free. I'm exiting Homestead for 16 and ride down Homestead, but I'm I'm driving. I'm looking in the rear view. He coming in. I say, hey, in another slab. You feel me? The the passenger he out the roof. He's showing his pistol. You know what I'm saying? So mm. I'm like, but when he look in the car, you got three pointed at you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so what you gonna yeah. do? Swing and just you know what I'm saying? Like move. But yeah, that that shit was real, man. Like you know, and yeah, and if somebody gonna catch you. Yeah, catch you slipping, man. Hey. Yeah, man, that shit was real, you man. Know? Them niggas was a lot of on both That's sides, it. man. We everybody lost, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. Niggas like, over them tight over them rims, man. man so. There's a nigga on the north side, man, with the little homie name, man. Alvin. Huh? Alvin. Nah, man. He was like um He was one of the first little cats I seen with three wheel motion on the um it's the dude name, the bright skin dude. He was like he probably he the older than us name. Damn. But he was uh, like, that little dude had a bunch of slabs, man. He was, uh, man, it was the little dude, man. He, I, I keep calling him a little dude, but he older than us, man. Um, he had like a, I think like a white 6 4 3 wheel motion, had disembowels on. He had like a, a white photo, Fleetwood. And he'll come to, uh, he's from Homestead? Yeah, he's from over that way, um, Doki? Nah, it, it, it's, you know how they got, now you call somebody by both names. Oh. That was, he was one, um, Damn, man. Damn, I'm going to tell you, too, though. I'm going right. I'm I'm to I'm tell you, we were just talking about that boy, but he, one nigga from the north, though, like, doing that era. He'll come on the bullo. He'll be at Carroll. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? He'll be at Carroll. He'll be on the bullo, like, yeah, like, for yeah. sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and we all knew he was from the north side, you know? But, yeah, he, he going to keep some little fly chicks with him and shit, like, but, Back to Toast, man. Like, yo, Toast hit them trends, man, for the for the, for the city, man. Like, yo, for real, man. He, um, 
Well, that dude there, man. Little black ass little nigga there, man. <laughs> No, everybody get that man. Got a yellow dog in the car, man. He gonna keep him official, man. We go to McGregor go Park, man. That boy gonna help out. <laughs> they gonna be right there in the middle, man. Yo, man, little toast, man. Little homie, man. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, man, nah, man. Uh, so I guess you know what I'm saying. We can officially put this whole north side, south side, screw yeah, wide. It's been always this, whatever. Man, the yeah, fans, yeah. bro. Y'all got to let it go, bro. It's, yeah, it's, you know, what I'm you saying, know like like I say, man. We always don't know, man. Like you know, man. Screw the originator, the creator, man. Yes, that is. Man. Please movie, that's understood. Man. That's Please understood, know that, that we know. Are, that everybody. That's a, you know, that's like, like the I world said, man, to know it, that. It wasn't, never was no competition in him because yeah. he ain't had no competition. Like. That's what it was, you know what I'm saying? He Nah, and then like for somebody to embrace your talent, to embrace something you do and, and wanna, you know, and copy that, like that's with anything. You know what I'm saying? Like a football player, a basketball player, a motherfucker wanna be like Jordan, one motherfucker wanna be like Eric Campbell, like you know what I'm saying? You gonna want to be like the best, so there's nothing wrong wanting to be like the best. Like shit, I'm say. It's the same I'm, thing I keep telling people, stop complaining about people taking yeah. H Town style or just doing the way we do things from yeah. sleeping white cups to all we it, bruh, I'm, people just realize that people love what we do down here. That's why they want to do it where they at. Cause when they come down here and get their feeling, they want to take that feeling back home. Cause they don't want the feeling to end. They don't want the feeling to end. You know, I went to Houston, I got a double white cup from Will Lean. Hmm. Just the feeling yeah. of how walking around now I wanna go home and I wanna get that feeling. You know what I'm saying? So everybody's that y'all yeah, chill out, bro. Y'all well, chill well, out. Houston, they like H time shit. Houston bro. is addiction. I just hate to see that our music scene is. I'm just gonna honestly say, well, like, man, we we um, I'm gonna honestly say, like, man, we we set our we set our standards a little low. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to monetizing our craft, our us being artists, you know what I'm saying, and. That's just what it is, you know, and you we can't complain when you see somebody else running with with the culture, you know, and and making money off of it, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like from day one, you know what I'm saying? Cause like these boys can come to the city and get a real bag, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't hating on nobody. Muffin come down here and get a real that. bag, man. And y'all niggas you know won't give us one, you niggas. You I have from I can speak from the DJ side. Yeah. <laughs> Them niggas ain't hotter than me, nigga. <laughs> what them niggas hotter than me? Um, let me speak for the DJ right quick, Will. Man, you know what hey, I mean? do your thing, baby. Who hotter than me? <laughs> Who hotter than me? All right, nigga, y'all paying them yeah, niggas yeah, thousands man. of dollars to come next time. Next time y'all niggas call me, ask me when y'all do my show, do y'all show and shit. Be prepared to offer me thousands, thousands, nigga, not hundreds. Don't think y'all niggas doing us a favor, giving us five hundred dollars, nigga. Fuck yeah. wrong, child. <laughs> Yeah, man, so, you know, yeah, man, but I like, I like how it's going right now, man, like, she, I making doing the thing, man, Travis, the little homie, Dante, man, I told him at the school shop when, when Travis was shooting the video, man, I like, man, I told him, I hope you, hope you be ready, man, because it's, it's going to take off for you, man, I see that boy oh, yeah. doing his thing right mm. now, man. And they, the record label, yeah. man, they just called me yesterday, I promise you, I was playing an H-Town record on the radio. I ain't gonna call the uh, dude. I ain't gonna call the rep late record rep out because they might start getting the calls. <laughs> but they, but he called me like, damn nigga, what song is this? You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it trust me, bro. H time we've always made good music, bro. We've always made good music, bro. It's like we just don't have these. We got people running our city that's not from our city. Hmm. Call it like it is, bro. I will call it like it is because I've been there. I didn't work for both of the stations. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. you know, and everybody, and it's just like it's a lot of gaps. We can blame it on radio. We can blame it on ourselves. We can blame it on everything, bro. It's a lot of gap. It's, it has the gaps got to be filled in. Period, bro. You know what I'm saying? We have somebody have to come and give, and that's why I call myself. Somebody got to come and give us the game, bro. Hmm. That really care and not care about our money and try to take the money on the fact that we got the money or we got the style and something. Come on, take our money, our style, everything, right. and our talent and everything. With let's take it all over there. Don't just come get a little piece of it and take it over there and then let them use it and then now we looking like, oh, we the second hand of it. No, take it all over there at one time. Hmm. Don't come and take what you want from the city and take it over there to them folks. You know what I'm saying? Take us. Take us over there. Tell me, tell me, hey man, you, hey look man, you got to take the hat off, bro. They don't, they not feeling the hat. You know what I'm saying? But don't take my shit and then, 
Yeah. Nah, take me, take take the whole thing over there. You know what I'm saying? That's but they'll come over there and say, nah, man, we just, we just go, man, we like the way you That's why you gotta, <laughs> that's why, man, that's why I ain't gonna lie, man, that's why I fuck with these little young niggas, man, these little young niggas ain't going for that shit, man, they gonna, yeah, man, like, even from the city, like, mm-hmm. man, you know what I'm saying, I like the young ass, man, the little Germans, man, you know what I'm saying, the fast lane, them boys gonna get out there and get mm-hmm. their bread, like, yo, go get that shit, man, they ain't worried about a major, man, you know what I'm saying, everybody talk shit about sauce, but... Nah, he doing it this way and making it happen. That's one, and I know that boy be probably hyped up. Just but that's y'all what the see world him on the, to realize too. Y'all see him on the ground, man. But man, the man is really intelligent, intelligent man, man. The man got the marketing scheme out the game. Bro, that's what we. Yeah, that, but so, that's what the world failed to realize yeah, about Texas in general, bro. In Houston, man, we've always, bro, cause we know it ain't no way. We've always did that. We've been forced to do that. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You see, our sauce made his own. You know what I'm saying? You saw how Biden made their own. You saw how everybody made their own. We was forced to do that. That didn't have nothing to do with no north side, south side shit, you funky motherfuckers. Mm, you know. go, and man. for the record, man, we man, we never had a deal. Boy, I wish we did have a goddamn deal. They ain't giving all this goddamn money to everybody, man. Goddamn, hey, hey, man. Hey, we, we, hey, you know, it, it ain't no. But you know, but shit, I don't I got do you back. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know, I know, I know it ain't over, man. But shit, you Talking know. Talking about for the deal, ain't no, we gonna keep yeah, doing yeah, our yeah. music for they give us the deal or not. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, know it's, so it's new ways. Ain't now. Gonna be no, ain't never gonna be no slave or no regular label. So. Yeah, there's new ways to get you know, them, get them, give them that money without them slaves. Nah, boy, see they even mm-hmm. know I can't even get these niggas masters no more. Hmm. <laughs> they ain't making the deals now because they know, damn, these niggas can learn. Yeah, can't, yeah, can't they masters no more? Fuck. Yeah, man. So, I, you can still get I say, man. I get the masters. Dining. Man, we got some uh, special brewing up, man. We gonna let these boys know about it, man. It's gonna be some real nice. Epic. Yeah, epic. Gonna be epic, I'm gonna be tuned man. in for that. Oh yeah, man. I you can't let y'all know. Got you, run. See, we got you, baby. You know I really, what I'm saying? I really, yeah, man. I, I appreciate y'all coming through. You know what I'm saying? Just clean up all this. And, you know, hopefully the internet, man, you know, y'all gonna talk forever, but hopefully this this quiet yeah, some man. of that down, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah we appreciate yeah. it too, man. You, you keep you know on I mean, Like I said, man, the fans ain't, man, I ain't shit. Yeah, they gonna keep, they gonna I be dug it from them, man. They, they, <laughs> shit, they, 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 they ruthless, man. They ruthless, bro. So, you know, but, you know, man, they got thick skin, man, but, you know, like I say, you gonna get the real from me every time, man. Every time, man. bro. Same here, sh- man. Ain't gonna sugarcoat That's nothing, man. Thank you for even coming up, bro, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate oh, yeah. you even I ain't, willing I to even just you know I what I'm saying. I couldn't even uh, hey try to add me on on on, on the live. I don't even you know, hey, do that shit, listen, nigga. I don't, you, had two, <laughs> you had real two. Oh, that hey, listen, that really showed our OG status though. I don't, even I don't know. Even know. Up there, I'm like, damn, how you yeah, add this nigga? Am I like, doing it right? He said, nigga, am I doing right on my end, nigga? I don't know. I, don't know. I ain't what even got a young nigga shit. in the house to tell me, hey, hey, uh, pops, you doing it? I ain't got no kids, nothing, nigga. I'm just shit. If I can't figure it out, nigga, I have to call a nigga. Hey, Donnie, nigga, I ain't do this shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. You see everybody start getting on that motherfucker talking about, hey, nigga, I ain't quit. Yeah, man. Then got my, my boy here in there, man, OG Money Mike, man. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Legendary, uh-huh. man. Yeah, me, man. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, OG, What's up, man. Mike? Uh, really? Boy, I got really. a nice project out, man. You can get him on, on all the platforms. Word Legendary. What's the name of your project, Mike? I'm going to tell him, man. I know you got your interview coming, you know what I'm saying? Legendary, yeah, man. man. Legendary yeah. OG, man. Yeah, man. Money Mike. Oh, you know what I'm saying? It's always late charge, man. That's what it is. All right, man. Really. Nigga, man. All right, that's what it is, yeah, man. Well, man. I appreciate Thank you, y'all man. coming through. OG, we still got to come through and do the, the, the newer Chop Star interview. You yeah, know nah, we're going to do it then. I bring maybe. You know, what I'm this one, you know what I'm saying? Thank you, man. Just now, thank you, man. I appreciate you, though. Like I said, man, appreciate it. You keep on doing, you know, I'm a big supporter of yours, man. You know what I'm saying? We trying to make some things happen at the beginning of the year, but we going to get back on them and see, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I can do to support you, bro. Right, man, I'm, I appreciate I'm, you, Thank man. you. Just keep on holding it down, man. We're going to make, you know what I'm saying? You holding yeah. it down for the city, man. We appreciate it, bro. For real. Like, we really need this, man. Keep on going, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I hope you keep on going. Shoot, and I hope you teach your kids to keep you going, too, bro, because it's important, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, we didn't have, you know what I'm saying? Even though, it, like, we still got a couple OGs right now that's still doing it. Like, these solo, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's important, though. That keep going though, bro. You know what I'm saying? And this is, man, I'm gonna just say for all the rest of the, you know, the young media guys out there who think, oh, they can't get no love or nothing, or whatever. It's, you know, ain't nothing easy, but just keep going though, bro. We need it though. Thank yeah, you, man. I appreciate you, man. For Thank real. you. And last real. thing, man, hey, I told Head and Dez, I say, hey, man, 
we need some Donnie Houston in front of the songs, you know what I'm saying? Like that tag. Oh, that, beats? Okay. Yeah, that Donnie bit. Houston that's tag. Like, yo, Everybody man, be forgetting that nigga make them beats, man. Yeah. That's a bit. Yeah. Donnie Houston. Yeah, because you know... Uh, yeah, yeah, everybody forget that boy make them beats, man. I told him, I had to tell him, I'm like, man, you know, because you know, um, him, and, him and Propane, they can. No oh, shit. Record. Yeah, him and, him and Propane, yeah. Mm. And like, you know, like, at the family reunion, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so I would tell him, like, man, I say, he like, daddy make beats. I'm like, yeah. I say, go listen to Ryan Slab. I'm like, that made me a fan right there, like, yo. Yeah, 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 yeah,